Many around the community are mourning the loss of a man who helped bring thousands together to celebrate life and music. Patrick Cage, the mind behind some of the biggest music festivals in our entire area, died this week. Tonight, Stephen Cavasso shows us how those close to him are helping to keep his memory alive. Whether it was the music. We have uh, musicians coming from Nashville, Tennessee. Or giving back to those less fortunate. We are out here at a loft hotel with an upcoming toy drive, part of the Texas Jazz Fest Society. Now we have Patrick Cage joining us now. Patrick really Cage was on the front lines when it came to creating a united and charitable community. Not only did he have a heart to see people, I guess, have fun, but he had a heart to help people. The Louisiana native was a well-known face as one of the founders behind one of the biggest music festivals, the Texas Jazz Fest. Fest, which draws thousands from around the country each year. The heart that he had, it surpassed not just Corpus, but it really surpassed every place that he went to. Cage's work extended to several nonprofits, like the Harvest Soup Kitchen, where he even spent time cooking for the homeless. What does it mean to, to lose him for you personally? I'm still thinking about it. Yeah. I'm still thinking about it. Pastor William Simpson still not able to process the sudden loss. But he remembers Cage as a model citizen, lending a helping hand whenever he could. Any time that he was involved in anything that he thought could help, he was there. And he lived up to his own expectations. In his mission to help the soup kitchen, Cage organized the first ever Kingdom Music Festival, which brought music acts together to shed a light on the nonprofit. You know, he just steps in any kind of way he can to make it better. Though his absence is great and his presence missed, his colleagues and friends remember Cage as a believer in fellowship. He believed that though we may all be different cultures and backgrounds and beliefs, we can all still be in one place and just enjoy one another. Stephen Cavazos, 3 News. Thanks, Stephen. Good story.